Hello, everyone. In this video, we'll look at the newspaper database on Dialog called ProQuest Newsstand Professional. We'll see what's in the database, why it is useful in so many kinds of searches, and how to use it. So let's get started. ProQuest Newsstand Professional contains articles from over 4,100 newspapers, as well as wire services and journals across the United States and about 47 countries worldwide. It's updated more than once a day, and the great majority of these records are full-text articles, especially starting at about 1980, although the database also has some older materials. When you think about newspapers, you might first think of current events, content like politics or natural disasters or the weather. But in fact, newspapers cover a full range of topics, much of it in great depth, including health and medicine, science and technology, pharmaceutical and electronic developments, business news and analysis, transportation, social and cultural trends, and more. So if you look at the content collections for non-patent literature in Dialog, they're all very different. But in fact, every one of them includes ProQuest Newsstand Professional. And for good reasons. And certainly a newspaper search is a critical part of a prior art search for patents. So how do you search in this database? The ProSheet will show you a sample record and list all of the searchable fields, although not all of the search fields shown here are provided for all newspapers. There are millions of records here that have abstracts, for example, and that are enhanced with a subject field to help you search by keywords, but not all records have these features, so for a broad search, you can keep it simple and straightforward and just look for your search terms anywhere in the text. Now let's walk through a couple of examples. If you want to search in a particular newspaper, in Advanced Search, you can set the drop-down to Publication Title to access the Lookup Publications tool. If you want to search the New York Times, maybe you're not too sure if it's abbreviated NY, or spelled out as New York, so you can check using the lookup tool. It turns out the New York Times actually has a few variations and additions, so I'll select them all. You can search by author if you want, like this. Then look for your topic using search terms. And when we run this search, we get a good set of results. By the way, you see the author is displayed as Haberman, Maggie, even though the original newspaper would have said by Maggie Haberman. This is done to help with cross-searching of author names from other databases at the same time, but that's why I put in the name as Maggie space Haberman with no quotation marks. Here's another example. Maybe you're not focused on a specific newspaper, but you want to look for articles published in a particular country or region or city. The search field for publication location is PBLOC. So you can do a search like this. Or you could do a similar search on the name of a city or state or region. And you see, we have over 48 million records from Australia or New Zealand. If I check full text, there are still well over 47 million hits. Now, if you want to know which newspapers are here and in what numbers, you can use the Narrow by Publication Title filter. And when I save that list as a spreadsheet, you see we have close to 500 newspapers from those places alone. Then you can just add your search terms. 
Suppose we want articles about the disease that's been endangering the Tasmanian devils. We can do a simple term search. We can even use the medical synonyms feature in this database to possibly expand our search. And there we have a good set of results. So there you have it, ProQuest Newsstand Professional. Out of more than 100 databases on Dialog, this one is really one of the most useful and versatile, and it can seriously improve your search results and your information base when you include it in your Dialog searches. Here are some links to additional information, and if you have any questions or would like some help, please feel free to contact us. Thanks for using Dialog, and enjoy the rest of your day.